Organic chemistry isn't just memorizing stuff, but on the other hand, there are certain facts that you must remember to do well in organic chemistry, because without them, you can't understand the concepts that come later and the applications that come behind that. So let's build up a periodic table of the first two rows up to argon. The first row, hydrogen and then helium. The second row, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. The third row, sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon. Why is the first row the first row? Because in it, we fill up the 1s level. Hydrogen is 1s1, helium is 1s2. In the second row, we fill up the 2s level, and then we fill up the 2p level. In the third row, we fill up the 3s level, and then the 3p level. What's the electronic configuration of nitrogen? Well, it's got a filled first shell, so it's 1s2. And in the second shell, the s level is filled, that's 2s2. And then three of the p orbitals actually are half filled, so that's 2p3. 2s2 plus 2p3 is 5. It has five electrons in the outer shell. It needs three more to make an octet. Hey, you can get them by sharing electrons with three hydrogen atoms. And that's why ammonia is NH3. Carbon is the star of the performance in organic chemistry. We have to know this. It's 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Four electrons in the outer shell. It needs four more to make an octet. And it can get them by sharing with four hydrogen atoms, each bringing one electron at a time. And that gives you methane, CH4. Hydrogen only has one lonely electron. It can get another one from another hydrogen atom, and it forms H2, a filled first shell. Oxygen has the filled in the shell of helium, and then in the second shell, it's 2s2, 2p4, that's six electrons total. It needs two more. Sulfur is in the third level. It's a neon inner shell. And then 3s2, 3p4, six electrons, just like oxygen. It needs two more, just like oxygen. Nitrogen has a filled inner shell, 1s2. Then it has 2s2, 2p3 in the second level. That's five electrons total. It needs three more to make a stable octet. It can get them by sharing electrons with three hydrogens. And that gives us NH3, ammonia. And that's why ammonia is NH3 and not NH2 or NH4. Carbon also has a filled 1s level. 1s2, that's helium. And then in the second shell, it has 2s2, 2p2. That's four electrons total. It needs four more to make an octet. And it can get them by sharing with four hydrogens. And that's why methane is CH4 and not CH3 or CH5. Hydrogen. Hydrogen has one lonely electron. It can get another one by sharing with one hydrogen atom making H2. Oxygen has a filled helium in a shell, 2s2, 2p4. That's six electrons total. It only needs two, and it can get them by sharing with two hydrogens, because each hydrogen brings one electron with it. So that's why water is H2O, and not HO or H3O. Sulfur, remember that's third row. So that's a neon inner shell, 3s2, 3p4, that's six electrons in the outer shell. It needs two more to make eight, 
And that's why hydrogen sulfide is H2S. There are two hydrogens sharing with the sulfur, each bringing one electron to give you H2S and not HS and not H3S or anything else S. Students learn organic chemistry by remembering some key facts, learning pivotal concepts, then applying the concepts in problems until the concepts are mastered. To help with that, I'm preparing an ebook on hybridization and bonding to be published on iBooks for the Mac and Amazon Kindle. The full workbook, Sophomore Organic Chemistry by Inquisition, are available from Amazon and from the byinquisition.org website, where the answers can also be found. Thanks for listening. Bye.